the Honorable Judge Seligman presiding. Now in session, docket ending 5971, People versus Cheryl Avery, one count, murder in the second degree. One burger for the defense, Your Honor. We all know who you are, Mr. Burger. How does your client plead? Not guilty. Miss Cabot? Uh, remand. My client is not a threat to the community. She has no prior criminal record, Your Honor. And you can't hold a press conference in a lockup. She's out of line, Your Honor. Oh, come on, Morty. You wouldn't have taken this case if you didn't smell the publicity. Bail is set at 200,000. Yeah, when I was seven, I knew I was different. Mm. Every night, I'd go to bed dreaming about being a girl. Well, how did you handle that? Force myself to be a boy. That must have been difficult. Yeah, I play with G.I. Joes when I wanted to dress up Barbies. <laughs> when was the first time that you tried to become a woman? Can you remember? Yeah, I was 10. And my father caught me putting on my mother's makeup. And what did he do? Well, he beat the crap out of me and he called me a pervert. Did that change your feelings any? No. It's not something you can change. I mean, it's, it's me. It's how I feel. And I can't be anything else. But I wanted to be a whole woman. Sure. And I needed the surgery, especially after I met Eddie. Eddie, had you ever considered telling him? No. No. I, I figured I'd lose him. I mean, Eddie was the, was the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, he was the first man that loved me as a woman. And I figured if I had the surgery, I wouldn't have to tell him. But Joe was going to tell him, right? How did that make you feel? I saw fists punching me like all those times before. for meeting me. Well, I shouldn't be speaking to you without my attorney. I shouldn't be asking you to, but I'm very concerned about how Mr. Berger is handling your case. If you're the one prosecuting me, why would you care? Because I think you're getting bad advice. No, he's... No, he's the only one who's been on my side. No, he knows what I've been through. Then he should be the first one to tell you that your chances of acquittal are slim to none. I was attacked and almost raped. Okay, he says the jury will take my side. I think a jury is going to have some trouble separating the facts of the case from who you are. Oh, if you're so sure I'm gonna lose it, why are you here? Because I wanna know why you won't take the deal. What deal? I told Berger I would plead down to first degree manslaughter. He never told me. to speak to my client without me. I'm taking this to Judge Larson and the disciplinary committee. Go ahead. They'll love the part where you ignored your obligation to bring my deal to your client and then lied to me and told me you had. I've done hundreds of trials and made new case law. I think I know what's best for my client. Doesn't Cheryl have a right to decide? Fine. Cheryl, I have your best interest at heart. Go ahead. Take the deal and you go to prison for at least five years. And if you don't take the deal and you get convicted, you'll go for a minimum of 15 to life. Well, do you think we'll lose? You're not guilty, Cheryl. Answer her question. Look, she's trying to scare you. Yeah, there's a chance you'll lose. But think of everything you're going to gain. He's trying to make you a martyr for the cause. I'll take the deal. <laughs> 